I've said this before and I'll say it again, this world is ugly, full of cobblestone and that's it. We need to spend the time to make this world look good. Hello, this is Trog, and welcome back to another episode of Skyblock. As you can see, um, we're in the Skyblock building test world, and I am looking at my block palette here. I want to incorporate some of this andesite, cobble, stone, and all that stuff into the iron farm because today we are going to be at least building the front of the iron farm, and then we're going to try and see if we can make some bridges because those are super important. I looked through my chests and it looks like I do not have any uh, any quartz so we can't make the andesite is that what it's called yeah the andesite unfortunately but right now it looks really good I, I really like the block palette here I kind of want the path leading up to it to be a little bit uh, a little bit down but we'll work with that in a little bit because we're gonna build the path after oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> that oh and they landed up there of course i'm gonna have to deal with that again anyway <laughs> i'm over here at the iron farm like i showed at the beginning of the episode with that little time lapse and i am trying to figure out what i'm gonna do because the block palette that I chose for this whole build and the Skyblock series is very, uh, it, it uses resources we don't have yet. So I'm trying to figure out how I can make this work without using those resources quite yet. Which there was resources is concrete. I really like that. It makes it look like it slopes up a bit more. And maybe we can make an arch up there. I want to keep the top open because obviously we have to to make it a village but I still want to make sure that it looks good because let's be honest this this place doesn't look very good I haven't actually built too much I mean I've made farms and stuff we've made a lot of progress but no building progress so the next few episodes are going to be building maybe a little bit of redstone I have an idea for slime block launchers. Oh, that actually looks really good. And if I put glass here, like gray stained glass, when we get the resources for sand, that would look so good. Okay. I like that. That's what we're going to do then. And then here, I'm thinking that we uh, can't do that. Okay. So... We're going to have to make it go down, this path go down a little bit because I want to copy this little arch here over here. But that gray right there, if we had some gray stained glass so we could see inside, that would look really, really cool. So I think that's what we're going to do there. Uh, yep. And then... Nope, that's the other way. I it's it confuses me sometimes whenever I'm building these things upside down like that, and then we go here and put some of that there, and to make it symmetrical, just to see what it would look like, we'll do that, and I think that looks a lot better. So I'm thinking these kind of archways and stuff like that is going to be the design, because bones are kind of are very rounded, and for them to theme their builds rounding them their architecture kind of around what we're going to do with bones in the series is going to be a really really nice aesthetic in my opinion so yeah that's this is going to look really good and the corner uh maybe uh but with those doors there it's not going to look the best I don't think anyway so we come around here and look yeah I would like to completely take those two doors out but I'm afraid that that's gonna break the farm so I really don't want to do that oh and there we go okay so that's kind of kind of gonna be the issue here is making it so that the farm 
So it looks good, and the farm is still intact. I'm looking at this, and it kind of looks like a castle. You know, with the, the spikes and everything. I'm I'm liking it a lot. I don't think I want to incorporate, like, make it, make every build look like this. But for a first build, it doesn't look bad. The process of building in Skyblock is just, ugh. As you can see, <laughs> if I didn't have Elytra and I didn't have these rockets, I would probably have died there. But because I do, it makes this so much easier. And that's why I rushed to the nether so quickly. If, um, or that's why I rushed to the end so quickly. Because it's just a lot easier to be able to fly around a sky world than than accidentally fall down all the time and uh maybe it's made me a little spoiled i don't know because i haven't been using the water bucket as much as i should and building is just annoying for me at this point but this is looking really really good i just want to make something to make something in here maybe a bone sticking out i don't know S i did bring some bones so we can incorporate bones after we're done with this um but it's looking good it's looking good i broke the water here and i don't know where so i'm going to have to redo all the water in this which basically tells me that i should probably just wait until I'm what what huh <laughs> so confused I'm gonna take all the water out of this build make it look good and then we'll put it back make sure that the farm is up and running again after that that way it's working because this is kind of one of the most important farms that we built besides the mob farm and the villager breeder, I guess. But this in and it of itself is its own villager breeder. Where did the villagers on this side go? How did they die? What? I'm, I'm so concerned now. How did zombies get them? How many villagers are left over here? Oh, we're going to have to move villagers again. I don't understand what happened to them. How did how did they get killed? Did they die over here? Like What's going on? The, it's exactly the same on both sides, so I don't know how they died. I'm I'm really concerned about that. Can they just disappear? I don't think they can, but I might have to look into it. I'm going to look at some Minecraft articles and stuff like that, but I will finish what I'm doing with this farm and I will come back with a progress update. Hmm. <laughs> Her. I am <laughs> the villager noise are the best. I am wondering what to do with this cobblestone because it looks bad. It looks really bad. The issue is all the villagers are there. So I don't want to mess with it anymore. But the cobblestone is kind of the last thing I need to change for this. And then it, I think it's going to look really good. So I'm thinking glass instead of the bone blocks solely because that one over there, that cell... No villagers. I don't know why. So if I have it made out of glass, I'll actually be able to see what is going on and if we need to put more villagers in here. I don't know why I why they died on the other side, but it's going to be very difficult to get these villagers out of the way to put glass in here, but we don't have to worry about that right now. I'm thinking some piston stuff, pushing this wall in, so that they're standing on a different floor, breaking that, replacing these blocks, and then breaking the cobblestone is probably the best bet. That's actually exactly what I would do. 
So whenever the time comes, that's what I'll do. And uh, for the remainder of this episode, I want to make a bridge. I want to make the bridge so that you can actually get to the iron in the iron farm. Because right now you can't. Ooh, I actually like that a lot. Hi, <laughs> I'm in my creative world. And I was thinking this 3x3 three three for a path. So it looks pretty smooth. It's fairly futuristic like I want it to be. It's just a little bit. I don't know what gives it that futuristic. I guess, it, I guess it's the stone brick here. But the important thing about this is we have a space in the middle. So if we make this come out and then... We say, put some water in here. We have our item system. So we can throw items through here, or um, I don't know, the iron, and have it go through this system. So I'm thinking that as long as this is kind of a small transportation thing, it might be useful. I don't know if we're actually going to use this, but just in case we want to, I'm probably going to make the structures a little bit thicker so that we can actually move around on these things. During this bridge building time lapse, I wanted to tell you a little story. So uh, today I went over to my friend's house to do some studying and homework. And uh, let's just say we ended up shoveling her roof off. <laughs> so the roof was leaking because of how much snow and ice we got. And it was just weighing down on the roof. So we had to dig out the roof rake, which is basically a shovel for on top of the roof. You don't actually have to go up there. Uh, it's got a really long handle. So we can just basically rake the roof. And there was so much ice built up that we had to actually use hammers and stuff to to get the ice off and it was interesting i had never had to do anything like that before and i know a lot of my audience who doesn't live this far north um and it's not normally this cold most people don't have to deal with that so uh yeah the more you know people actually have to uh shovel off their roofs sometimes if there's that much snow and this winter has been a lot of snow And that is it almost complete. <laughs> I just realized that some of those blocks are, aren't there. Eek. Well, from the sides, this is looking really well, really good. And this bone structure, it doesn't look like a bone too much. But it, kind, it still looks good, in my opinion, as a walkway better than the cobblestone we have I'll tell you that so maybe you guys can let me know in the comments what I can do to make that look a little better because right now it is not really the look that I'm going for but I really like this walkway here where you're walking on the bone it's very smooth it's very nice so then we got the iron here I will be fixing the iron farm off camera because it is currently broken with the villagers uh, only on this side, not on this side. I plan on just taking two of them out with a minecart and transporting them over here, having them breed some more, and then boom, we got a, we got the farm up and running again. But until next time, this has been Trog. I hope you enjoyed.